In this episode of Bug Bite Shorts, we're going to look at list comprehensions and how they can be very convenient for reducing for loops to a single line of code. Very compact syntax. We're going to look at berries. We've got a list of berries here and we want to take them and convert them to their plural form. So we'll start by using a for loop for berry in berries and we can append to that plural berries list the berry and we want to get all the characters up to the last character which we can do with that syntax and then we add IES which is the plural ending and if we look at that we get the plural version of those berries so now how do we get this in a, on a single line of code we can say plural berries and we set the square brackets that's the list comprehension syntax and we say berry and again get all up to the last character plus IES for berry and berries and then if we print that out we see we get the same result as above but we have done that in a single line of code it's a bit more compact very pythonic way of doing things now let's see how to pluralize only the berries that begin with b so we'll copy the code above and we will chain an if statement onto the end of this list comprehension and we say if the first letter of the berry is equal to b We'll pluralize that berry and we get back the two berries blueberries and blackberries finally i want to look at how we maintain the original list of berries but only pluralize the berries beginning with b and i can do that by using an else condition let's move that to the left of the for statement and we'll chain an else condition where we simply return the berry as it originally was and if you execute that we get the berries beginning with b pluralized whereas the other berries have been kept the same so that's how you can do if statements and else conditions within a list comprehension and you can cut three four lines of code down to a single line of code thank you for watching please like and subscribe and see you in the next episode